Hey, what's up, Geek? So this tutorial is really for people who are in the deployment process. I actually built this component for a company earlier this year. And um, the issue is that when a person actually clicks on the form and they're using like in a smartphone or something like that, you see how part of our form is actually, you can't see one of those inputs. Now the component we're gonna build is actually when you actually click on one of these, um, this input, the screen scrolls up. All right, so I was trying to do that on my actual device, and then because I don't have the Apple developer account, I didn't pay for it, it's not gonna show it to me, and I don't have the company account anymore. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually create that, how to use it, and you can actually, you know, it's gonna prevent any kind of other bugs within your applications. So I already had this, like I said, on another file, so I'm going to use that file as a reference. So excuse me if you see me going back and forth. But anyways, I'm going to create a new component and it's going to be called Keyboard Shift.js. This is going to be a class component, so React Native class component. Do Keyboard Shift. Lovely. And we're going to import a few components. I'm going to import we don't need our view components so I'm going to import our animated our dimensions keyboard style sheet text input and UI manager So to get started, we're going to destructure our text input component. Okay, now we're going to create a constructor. I'm going to say this dot state. Now within our state, we're going to create a shift parameter. We're going to say new, animated, and value. Set the value equal to zero. Cool. And next we're gonna say this dot keyboard did show sub. We're gonna set this equal to our keyboard dot add listener keyboard did show this is going to be the event and this dot handle keyboard Bring this down a little bit for you guys. This dot handle keyboard did show. And I actually didn't put this in the right spot, so I'm gonna cut this, and this should be in our constructor. Next, I'm gonna copy what we have here just to save time. It's gonna be keyboard did hide sub. We're gonna say keyboard did hide as our event name. And then this is gonna be handle keyboard did hide. So we're gonna use a lifecycle method 
component did mount. This dot keyboard did show sub. And we're going to remove at the remove method. We're going to do the same thing for keyboard did hide sub and apply the remove function as well. to type in handle keyboard did show we're going to pass in the event type in const we're going to destructure our dimensions so dimensions dot get window For height, we're going to reference, we can just reference height just like this. Actually, just destructure. Let me go ahead and just say height is uh, equal to window height. That's going to be the value. And then we're going to do the same thing for. Keyboard height reference the event end coordinates. We're going to reference height. Next, we're going to create another variable, and this is going to be called currently focus field. Text input state dot currently focus field. Next, we'll reference our UI manager. We're going to measure currently focus field. We're going to create a few parameters. Let's say origin x. Copy that. I'm going to copy origin because we're going to do this a few times. Origin x, origin y, width, height, page x, and page. Y. It's going to be arrow function. So hopefully that's clear to you guys. Let me space this out a little bit so you can see what's really going on. I'm going to create a, video, a variable titled field height. We're going to set it equal to the height. Field top, page Y, okay, we're going to create another variable titled gap, reference our window height minus keyboard height minus field top plus field height now for our condition if our gap is greater than or equal to 
zero, we're gonna go ahead and just return. Animated timing. This dot state dot shift. We're going to create a prop two value. Reference that. Set the value to our gap duration. It's going to be one second. Use. Native driver. Why is gonna be true? And then start zero. So about that I means start the function. Now for our next function, we're gonna go ahead and create the function handle keyboard did hide. Grab, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy what I have here for my animated timing and just paste that in just like that. All right, now my value is gonna be equal to zero because we're closing that, uh, we're basically going to be shifting our screen up, and then when it's hiding that keyboard, it's gonna shift it down. So you want it to be zero duration, everything else is gonna stay the same. All right. Now within our render, we're gonna destructure our props and our state. So let's go ahead and just say, let's say this dot, oh, this dot props, children, render prop, Structure state. So say this dot state shift, and then we're going to pass in our animated dot view. So make sure you guys uh, have this. Now beneath this, we're going to go ahead and add our style. So I'm going to say const styles equals to style sheet dot create. Not container, we're not going to actually give our container any kind of styles, but there's a reason we're actually doing this. Let me go ahead and cut this out. Got to add my curly bracket. Okay, cool. Now we're going to use our style prop. We're going to pass an array of styles. We're going to reference our styles. Container. Transform, pass an array. We're going to say trans late y. We're going to set the value to shift. Cool, so make sure I'm just going to space this out so it's easier to read for you guys. Hopefully, that's clear. Now we're actually just going to render our prop. Make sure you call that function. So I'm go ahead. I'm going to save this file. Make sure that everything, if you have to rewind the video, go ahead and rewind the video. Make sure everything is clear and it matches up with what I have. I want you guys to save your file. And then I'm going to go into my app.js. So you might not even, if you're looking at this, I'm guessing you have some kind of form. So you can just apply what you see here to your form. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import our component, keyboard shift, and now I'm actually going to add a view because it won't, it won't work unless we pass our text components, our text input components into like a, we make our text inputs a child of like a, a view parent. Okay, so I have to go ahead and make my 
style, give it some built in, some say width, it's 100%. Actually, I can just go ahead, I'm gonna apply this styles, copy, So I'll just go ahead and make it the width 100%. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the keyboard shift component. And I'm actually going to add my curly brackets. I'm going to call a function. Make sure you reference your parentheses. And now I'm going to cut our text inputs and our view. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have our view. Cut all of this. And I'm going to paste it into my keyboard shift, just like that. Copy what we have here. My keyboard shift. Let me go into my keyboard shift component. And I'm going to add a style prop to this. I'll say this that props that style. Actually, we could just pass in the state style like that save that now I'm going to paste in that style okay cool so we can't see this unless we have like a device but I promise you if you guys use your device you test this you click on your keyboard the keyboard this is going to shift up all right so you can only test this on a device but anyways that's that's how you actually add a um, add some kind of animation to your form you get your form to actually shift up and to avoid the the keyboard so anyways like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time peace